we're gonna go have some fun because we're gonna break take a motor apart okay welcome back today what we're doing is remember we did the motor in the the generator got it all running and everything so when you buy the motor you get the core you don't have to send the core back so we're going to keep the core so we're going to take some of the stuff off it like the carburetor the rewind and the ignition and stuff like that the rest of it is garbage but i'm going to keep it and show you guys we're going to take it apart come on i'm going to keep all the bolts too because they're metric and i'm canadian and that way we'll have lots of bolts and I'm going to keep the ignition because we know it works. I'm going to keep the ignition and the carburetor and the rewind. The rest of it, I'm pretty much going to trash. So basically, this is designed that um, you take the, the flywheel cover off while the crankshaft in is really what it is. And everything can come out through there. You don't have to take the cylinder off or anything. So we got all the bolts out. And you just take the bolts out and end cover okay now here here is the oil sensor it comes down here and it has to have oil underneath it to sense it okay if it's got no oil it'll run out and that's what these holes are for so it'll go down in there that's the oil sensor you see what happened what did I say happened the rod broke right there you go that's exactly what happened. The rod broke in it and the cam broke. So this was what you classify as a major, major failure. Now, believe it or not, believe it or not, that crank might be saved. We might be able to save that crank. So all we really have to do is put a rod and a piston in it and uh, we can run her. But we won't. I just want to show you how to take it all apart, right? So that's how you take it apart. Take the side off, and the crank's broken, so you need a bro cam. And you got your lifters here. Yeah, the lifters. When did you do? I lost it. But what happened was when I flipped it over, it uh, these are like your, uh, their lifters is what they are, and these push up on the the valve. And we'll take that off and show you what that looks like, okay? So just stay tuned and we'll uh, we'll get that all off there. Okay, now this is the crank out of it. And this is the flywheel side. This is the uh, ignition side, or not the flywheel side. This is the uh, output side, right? Now see all the marks on the crank? That's why it's pretty much, it's pretty much done. By the time you return this and get it machined and that, it's just not worth it. So this is the stuff like this where the crank's gone and the bearings are gone. And that way your motor just paid for itself. Because by the time you bought the crank, it probably almost is what, what the motor is worth, right? Now, you look in here and you got the rest of the lifter there. That's the cam in two pieces. So by the time you buy a cam, it's not worth it. Okay, so now we'll take the piston to head off and I'll show you that there. That's your uh, lit, your push rods. This has got little push rods. Aren't they cute? They're little cute little push rods, eh? They go up from the bottom of the... If you see the bottom, see this is a little different. They uh, A lot of them will have the valve, if it's a flathead, this will be flat and the valve will push right on the valve. Well, this is overhead valve, so they gotta have a push tube so it's it's cut down. See where the tube fits in it so it doesn't fall out? It's kind of cool. Okay, so this is the engine, this is the the guard that goes around it to direct the air over the head. Now see, this is just like your ordinary engine. Now this is kind of ingenious how they do this because what they do is they put a pin in there but the valve cover is machined in such a way that this can't come out, right? So it's got to stay in there. But you just push that, that to the side and you can pull 
the rocker off. It's like a rocker on a full-blown car. Same thing, right? Just pull them off. And now, remember the push rod? So um, this is what it looks like. This comes off the cam in the block. And then the push rod goes above that. And then this goes above there to push down on the valves. Now, these are adjustable, by the way. So, yeah, that's how that works. Kind of cool. Now, we'll take the head off. Okay, so this is uh, the head, what it looks like uh, from underneath, right? Look at them little baby valves, eh? And these ones haven't got a whole bunch of spring. But now when you notice that after the smoke is cleared, see all the carbon build up on here? It's been burning oil for a while. Like I said, we, we run it, baby. We got our money out of it. So that's what, that's carbon build up is caused from oil going in and getting fired and burning and then sticking, right? So, yeah, that's what that is. But that's the little head. Isn't that cute? Now, here's the piston. And the piston, see the piston is seized. It won't. Now, the piston is, was seized in the, but all the rings aren't broken. But the rod's broken, right? So, um, uh, that's, uh, that's what's seized up. But see all the carbon build up? That's because it was um, the rings were going out of it. It had lots of hours on it. I'd probably on the light side. I would say it probably had two thousand hours on it. This engine, so it don't owe us a nickel. But that's the engine, um, the way it comes apart, and uh, yeah, and that's why it's so important to change the oil because see, there's no filter on this. All and all the oil and metal that goes in the bottom stays in there, right? And it goes all through the motor, right? But it's, um, they're pretty good. Like, they run that long. I, I, you know, I'm quite surprised it's still not that bad. You know, if you had to, you could probably get the parts for this, like, for probably 200 bucks to fix it. You know, a new crank and a piston and a rod. And the bore is probably not that bad. You could probably just hone it out and put in, or just clean it up and put a new piston in. Because there's no grooves in it or nothing, right? Like, it's in pretty good shape, really. Um, you could probably fix that for a couple hundred bucks. But we got a motor for the same price. So um, you got to remember, though, when you put the $200 into it, everything else, the ignition, the starter, the coil, the, all that's still old, right? So the long block is definitely the way to go. So anyway, I hope you got something under that. Um, if you... If you don't know much about it, just play the video back a couple times and you'll see all the pieces and how they all go together. And uh, it's quite good. It's uh, This is the flywheel here. Oh, yeah, that's what I forgot to show you. On this side of the engine, it poked the hole in here. It poked the hole in there and the oil was leaking out there. But on this, it's a four cycle, so it didn't really matter. But um, when I flipped it down, it poured the oil out. And that's why, because it poked a hole in there so anyway i hope you got something out of it just something playing around you know with a box of tools and take it apart so most of this is going to be going thrown in the garbage we'll keep the carburetor the ignition the rewind starter and a couple other pieces but the rest of it is not much good to us so anyway i hope you get something out of it and uh, we'll see you in the next video